Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Eric Martinez from Dynamic Duo Training. We are back in the kitchen once again for the, this month's nutritional recipe, which is a dynamic French toast. And I know all you breakfast lovers are going to appreciate this one. So let me break it down for you really quick. Okay, so normally when you go to like a restaurant and order French toast, um, they pretty much make it with, you know, like a white bread or a sourdough bread. And that really has no nutritional value to it. So the way I'm going to show you how we make it, it, it does have nutritional value, okay? It's going to have a good protein, carbs, and fat sources in it, okay? So let me show you guys what we got to put in there. First, I'm going to start off with a little bit of Splenda to put in the batter. And then some whey protein. This is a vanilla kind. I'm going to put some cinnamon in it. I'm going to put one egg in there to kind of bind it up together. I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla extract. I'm going to use some pecans to put on there, a good fat source. And then here's the key ingredient. This is the sprouted whole grain wheat bread. Very, very nice. Okay. Good source of protein. It has a lot of magnesium in it. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to use some almond milk instead of regular just milk. And that's pretty much it. After that, I'm going to top it off with a little bit of uh, sugar-free syrup. This has a little bit of Splenda in it. Better alternative than the, the regular ones. So, let's do it. So, I'm going to start with one cup of almond milk. <laughs> and we're going to go with a tablespoon of the vanilla extract and pretty much I mean what the vanilla extract just does is give it like a little bit of flavor I mean there's nothing really bad in it so don't worry about that got that and then I do maybe half a tablespoon of Splenda I don't think I need a full tablespoon I'll give it some flavor and then put the egg in there I'm gonna hold off on the yolk just the fact that I'm gonna put pecans on it later I don't need more fat than that um, I'll get some cinnamon in there I think that's pretty much it and then we'll put the scoop of whey protein in there Stir it all up. When you think about it, when you're at a restaurant, do you really know what the what the chef's putting in your batter? <laughs> you just never know these days. This is why it's a lot easier just doing it at your house and knowing what you put in there. All right, so that's what the batter looks like when it's done. Doesn't look too great right now, but it'll turn out good. I'm gonna use a little bit of Pam spray to put it on so it won't stick. And I got my bread right here. So since this bread is a little bit thicker, I'm just gonna kind of let it soak in a little bit longer the normal all right let me toss that baby on there and we'll let it cook and then after that I'll show you guys what the end result looks like so stay tuned okay all right everybody here's the finished product of the dynamic French toast Looks pretty good. I sprinkled around the pecans. I'm just gonna top it off with some syrup in a little bit and I'm gonna feast. So that's pretty much it. So kind of just play around and experiment with that, um, with the ingredients that I um, told you about earlier and you know, try something different if you want, okay? So make sure to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and thank you for tuning in. 